Hi Aries, welcome to your angel reading. So I'm going to pull an oracle tarot card. Oh wow. Coming from... We have the justice card, fair decisions. Your angels are aware that you have concerns, but be assured that there's nothing to worry about. Stand your ground. Know that heaven is shining its divine light upon the situation and all is being healed. Okay, so let's see what's coming up for you, Aries. Show us a message for Aries. And what do they need to see? What does Aries need to see? Positive recognition. Congratulations, your plans have worked out perfectly and now it's your time to shine. Brilliant new ideas will present themselves to you and success is all but assured. Express yourself openly and honestly knowing that those surrounding you are trustworthy and be open to an unexpected opportunity. Okay, very good. So we got the justice card that did flip. And then we have this positive recognition energy message coming out. Do we need another one for Aries? Do we need one more? The messenger of action, which is the Knight of Wands. Um, something new and exciting related to your career um, or something creative comes to your attention. It could be a message you're receiving, Knight of Fire. Okay. Show us Aries, show us Aries messages. Show us Aries, show us Aries messages. Show us Aries, show us Aries messages. The Ace of Abundance, if the Ace of Coin. Um, wonderful news, a windfall of resources comes your way to help you with your plans. These resources may involve money, advice, or assistance in getting things done. It's a good time to start a new venture, change careers, or go into business for yourself. There might be an important contract to sign. So this looks like a new opportunity coming to you pretty quickly. Um, something where you've earned this. Okay. So I am using for the tarot message. It's called Angel Tarot by Travis McHenry. So let's see what we get here for you, Aries. And I made a mistake earlier in another reading. I said Mars moved into Pisces. I actually meant Venus moved into Pisces, but I said Mars. I know I said Mars. Venus is in Pisces. It was like a one degree. So Mars and Saturn were more or less conjunct. Moving apart though. So that was the big conjunction for the week. Okay, angels and spirits, please show us the messages for Aries for this angel message. What do they need to see? For Aries. Okay, we have here the Eight of Pentacles. You're working really hard. There's something where you're learning, you're researching, you are looking at details very carefully. It's the energy of Virgo. So it can be service. It can also be learning, um, providing knowledge. I feel like you could be learning something new as well. There could be documents involved, anything that's real, tangible, like you can touch it. The challenge to the energy is that you are focused on yourself and your own life or your own plan. So there's something here about ego. 
Um, Three of Wands, Construction of the Universe, Protection from Adversaries. It is about focusing on the future, staying very focused, waiting for a ship to come in. What's underlying Aries here? The Ten of Pentacles, money, wealth, abundance, long-term security, um, a very stable situation. It could be more money because it's a completion. So we have a lot of a firm foundation. We have here the lovers. It's a choice, joy, pleasure, happiness, removing negative energy from your life, a chance to heal. Um, the, the energy of Gemini. What's Aries becoming aware of? What's Aries? There it is. The queen of the air, Libra. Justice, fairness, balance, equality. The sword of truth and the scales of justice. There's hope here. Um, you could be receiving information about something to do with Anything about courts, court documents, legal matters. There could be an air sign around you too. What is this? Ten of Pentacles. Okay. What is the future energy here for Aries? Showing the future energy. So the future energy is the world, completion of a cycle, great success in your life, achievement. So there's something about achievement of goals, successful ventures. Um, it is about completion of what you started, finishing what you started. So your energy comes up as Empress, Venus, abundance, love, fertility, very fruitful, um, the Empress represents fertility in all things, blessings in all things. Um, it looks like you're very blessed here. Okay, around you, a four of wands, stable, happy home, achievement of a goal, a stable situation, having a peaceful situation with others. Maybe even taking time off. You've achieved a goal. You're taking time off. Your energy is the Empress, which could also be you have self-worth or self-respect. Okay, you're wanting three of pentacles. You're wanting a connection to a team. Um, where you all are invested in something together. Like you are all in it together. And what's the outcome? It's cooperation, teamwork, hanging man. Okay, so something here is about hanging in the balance, something on hold. A protection from an evil spell, bad people or liars. Um, so something is on pause. So the universe comes along, God, and says, wait, wait. We're not going to move this so just yet. We're going to pause. What is the Queen of Swords for Aries? Queen of Swords. The Six of Cups, a friend, it says here a message that lifts you up. So we all know Six of Cups can be someone from your past who you have a history with. Um, what is the Ten of Pentacles underlying for Aries? It's a lot of money, a stable situation. It's also about a commitment. So we have a Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. 
Um, somebody who is patient, understanding. Could be somebody who is generous as well. It could be you, because a queen and a ten. And there's a king. Um, Daniel, God the merciful judge. So there's something here about taking action. The king of fire. It's like an entrepreneur or someone who takes action. Okay. So let's see. There could be a fire sign around you as well, sending you a message. Okay, what is the world card? What is completing here? Show me what's completing for Aries. Show me what's completing. Show me what's completing. <laughs> oh, the Eight of Cups. Something is about walking away, um, transformation, consolation. I know it's Scorpio energy where you get to sort of depart a situation um, because you're done. You achieved everything you needed to achieve. What is around Aries as the Four of Wands? What is around Aries is the Four of Wands, the Chariot. Okay, fast forward movement, success, overcoming adversity, Archangel Michael. So what is the Hanging Man? Okay, what is the Hanging Man? There we go, the Fool card, okay. There could be someone who is foolish or made a foolish mistake, a new beginning. Um, it could be something new. You could be starting something new, but not just yet. Like it could be where you have to wait a week or you have to wait. What is Aries energy as the Empress? Show us Empress. The Ten of Wands. Okay, you have taken on a lot of burdens. You've taken on a lot of responsibility. It can be like you've taken on too much. You haven't asked for any help. You're doing everything yourself. Um, there could be guilt too. What is the Fool? The Fool too with the Hangman could be you're set free from being stuck. What is the fool? There we go. Page of Wands, good news, and strength. So having confidence in yourself, um, great inner strength, loyalty, saving you from your enemies, strength. You're getting some happy news or some very exciting opportunity here. And the strength means you will, it, you could have to be courageous. Nine of Pentacles. Um, the Nine of Pentacles is someone who works on their own. They're independent of other people. King of Water. Restitution. Forgiveness. Two of Wands. Eight of Swords. Truth and Justice. Protection from Enemies. Okay. So something is about to change. It looks like a new beginning or at least a new adventure. Um, new exciting adventure. You might be learning something new which feels like a lot of responsibility. Okay, so show me this Empress energy. Why is there an Empress here? Ooh, okay, we have the death card. There's something about closing out a chapter, endings and a rebirth. The end. So there's something here where you ended something. It could have been weighing very heavily upon you. Guilt, 
you know, heavy burdens. So underlying energy here is money, wealth, abundance. Um, there could be something to do with you in a leadership role. You, what you find out about is some really happy news that lifts you up and makes you feel good. You basically get to walk away from something that you feel like isn't working for you. And you get some exciting new opportunity here. So there has been a transformation to with the death means you've, you've learned everything you need to learn and you're ready for this change. You're ready for this transformation. The moon card and the page of water and the knight of coin and the two of pentacles. This looks like a good news that you were unaware of or that you don't know about. This is coming. Like it says here, positive recognition and the ace of coin. Um, okay, so let me pull one more. There's showing something where you're having to do a, multiple things at once. Show me one more for Aries. Show me one more for Aries. Show me one more for Aries. There it is. The Guardian of Action. King of Wands. Step up and be the leader. Having charisma, loving the spotlight, king of wands energy. It came out here with a queen of pentacles. Um, so there could be a king of wands around you. Okay, show me Aries. What do they need to see? Show me Aries. Show me Aries. So we have here the Ace of Cups. A wonderful new emotional experience is coming into your life. You may meet someone new. Um, it's also possible that you have strong intuition. I feel like it's a new situation. It's a new situation that, you know, makes you happy. You feel good about this. Wow. So the Ten of Coin came out with it. Um, heaven has provided you so many blessings. The children are provided for. A comfortable retirement will one day come along. Um, you should be very proud. Good things are coming your way. Um, all right. Wow, bottom of the deck is the Fool, which is a new beginning. You're at the beginning of a wonderful journey. There's no need to have any fear as guardian angels walk beside you every step of the way. You have unique gifts to offer the world if you will just free yourself from that which holds you back. New opportunities will present themselves if you truly believe. And we did have this Fool card energy. Um, with the hangman so something could be on pause right now but it will come in and it could take courage and you taking a leap of faith to get to that to get to that point so that's really interesting that the fool is underlying all this seven of pentacles waiting anticipating or waiting for a return on something you invested in something you planted this you planted the seeds you're waiting for this to grow you took the action healer of thought i think that's queen of swords libra eight of coin you worked hard for this knight of coin ten of swords seven of cups I 
I think the situation you are in, it looks like you were in it for a while, but it wasn't, it wasn't making you feel happy. There's something here about like feelings of loss surrounding a situation that you invested your heart in. It maybe was boring with the four of cups or it was like an unrequited love. The king of cups. Eight of swords. Five of swords. It's almost like somebody was stressing you out. Three of cups. Six of swords. Nine of wands. It's like you put up with a lot. You put up with a lot of stuff. So I will leave this here for you, Aries. Um, I'm going to pull one from the Reformation deck. Okay. So show us Aries here. What do they need to see? Show us Aries one card, please. Show us Aries one card, please. Angels and spirits. Please show us Aries one card. <laughs> so it's a Ten of Swords. It sort of, you know, came out reversed, but this is about the ending of stress. Um, let's get one more. The King of Pentacles. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, this person's in the upright. Ten of Swords was in the reverse. Seven of Wands. Fighting back or standing up for yourself. And then a Ten of Pentacles. Money, wealth, abundance, long-term security. Um, wealth and abundance. Um, the Pope. So this could be like the Emperor. This is the Emperor energy. Um, it could also be Hierophant, which could be Taurus. Um... It's about institutions, institutionalized energy, government, schools, academia, um, banks. What's going on here for Aries? You're being rewarded. Two of Swords. You're needing to make a decision. You're needing to make a decision, but there is some very powerful new happiness. The Ace of Cups. Um, so we have here this Ace of Cups coming in. This could be some kind of blessing that you've been praying for also. It's on the bottom. Three of Pentacles, a team, Eight of Wands, Five of Wands. King of Water again. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio in the upright. Um, the Queen of Pentacles again. It looks like there's an earth sign around this situation. Somebody could be sending you a message or a note. Um, Knight of Swords. Four of Swords. Five of Cups. There could be someone who you had a falling out with and now it's being repaired. Six of Swords. Moving on, things get easier. So basically, the hangman and the fool is you're taking a leap of faith. You have to be brave and strong. You get some really good news about a major transformation or change. Mm. Bottom of the deck is this Queen of Swords in the upright. Libra energy with the Nine of Swords and the Knight of Cups. Somebody's given something a lot of thought. Okay. 
So I will leave this here for you, Aries. It's your angel reading. Thank you for watching and take care.